Hey guys, welcome to this very quick video where I'm going to be talking about the recent changes to Claude Code that might have gone over your head. Now, Claude Code, in my opinion, is the best coding tool on the market, so it's incredibly important to understand when they change something. The way to find if they've changed anything, by the way, just so people know, is you just go on Google, type in Claude Code, change log, and then click right here. Another thing is you will also have to update your Claude code. So if you just go on Google, how to update Claude code, and then, you know, you can click on this one, for example, or whichever one you want to click on, and just try and find something that will help you um, update it, right? So the way to actually update Claude code, just so you know, is just Claude update. I'm already on the latest version, so there's nothing to update. Let's actually have a look what they've changed. So some of the really interesting things here, I would say the most interesting one right here is this one right here. Auto compacting is now instant. This is actually a massive change. If you use Claude code in the last six months, you would know that one of the most annoying things is actually the compact feature. So now it auto compacts instantly. I've tried this, it works extremely well. And yeah, it's, it, I'm, I really, really like it. Another really big change, and this is in 2.064, this was a week or two ago, is slash stats. So if I just jump here and do slash stats, you can see how many tokens, etc., you've used in the last month or so. You could put models as well to see how much you're spending on models. And yes, I have spent 4.8 million tokens on Sonic 4.5 and 3.3 million on uh, Opus. They are real numbers. We do do a lot of coding in the company. Um, so I've used 21 times more tokens than Lord of the Rings, which is absurd, it's just crazy to me. This isn't just me though, there are a couple of people using this Claude code. Um, longest session, 35 days. Uh, what? <laughs> I didn't really know what I was trying to say. Total tokens, we've used 13 million tokens on Sonnet, which is just absurd. Before continuing with the video, just a quick word from our sponsor today, me. In the video description and in the pinned comment, there is a link to the school community. If you want to learn a little bit more about what we're talking about, from the absolute basics of coding all the way to being an absolute master in these things, launching production-ready apps, SaaS applications, and I've launched hundreds of websites as well. I've been there, I've done that, I have three SaaSes currently. If you want to learn how I'm doing that, I've put everything that I've ever learned about Claude Code, Stacks, Next.js, all of that good stuff into the school community. Thanks for your attention. Let's get back to the main content. Another really interesting change that they've made is actually rename. You might notice like this at the top of here, this says dashboard database integration. Let's say that that was confusing me and I had a few different running at the same time, right? You could come and you could change the name of the thing at the top to hello example, for example. And then we should see here, okay, so I don't know if it's here or if it's in Claude-R instead. Let's see. So you could rename this session here as well with Claude-R, I could rename and I could rename this to something, you know, like uh, working on Grove, um, don't forget, right? And then this is actually much easier because if you've ever used dash R before, it can be extremely confusing. Well, let me just show you an example, cd.dd, cd grove codex, Claude dash R. Like just look how confusing this is. How am I supposed to know what any of these are, right? But once you find one and you're in the right one, you could rename it and then you wouldn't lose that conversation. So it's kind of like a save file concept, video games. You can also do dash to search, which is another update as far as I'm aware. So you can search for things now. I could search for Grove, for example, but all of them have Grove inside, so that'd be a bad search, but that's another great update from Anthropic. So from 2.065, this is a pretty interesting one as well. Added ability to switch models while writing a prompt. I have actually been through this. Normally what happens is you write a massive prompt and then you realize that you're probably using the wrong model, right? So using the wrong model. Apparently now you can do, what is it? Option P. Oh, nice. That is actually super useful. It doesn't, you know, it's not a massive time save. You could have just copied your prompt before, but it's just another UI UX change that I really, really like. Obviously another big one is that it's Christmas time. So they put a little Christmas uh, crab here, which is all, always great, of course. 
And then just a few other changes here in 2.067. Claude now suggests prompts to speed up your workflow. Press tab to accept or enter to submit. Interesting. Um, I have actually seen this. It does work pretty well. Thinking mode is now enabled by default for Opus 4.5. This is a good change because a lot of people weren't using thinking mode. Thinking mode makes Claude much better, especially at Opus 4.5. This might actually be the reason why people were talking about the quality being so bad on Opus. They weren't using thinking mode. I still think that they've made it worse personally, but it is what it is. And then finally, the last update from Claude recently is connectors, although I'm pretty sure it's just MCP. Yeah, it is just MCP. It's just they've added a load of connectors. There are a lot of connectors here, guys. There might be something useful for people. I can see Cloudflare would be useful for me, for example. Canva would be useful for a lot of people doing print on demand. Figma, this is very, very interesting. I would like to eventually be able to get Figma to code because we do a lot of uh, Figma design, obviously. Monday, Netlify, PayPal, you know, all these useful things. These are just MCPs, though. I'm not really sure what the difference between connectors and MCPs are. It says you can use the connector to list all your workflows, search for a specific action, execute your workflows. So, yeah, while everyone else is talking about ChatGPT 5.2, I thought that I would just quickly talk about the updates to Claude Code, specifically Claude Code um, for me is the best coding assistant on the market. It's better than Cursor. It's better than pretty much every other thing that I've ever used. That is why I keep talking about Claude Code, why I just released my first episode of a Claude Code course. And while I'll continue to talk about Claude Code until something genuinely better comes along. And then just one more thing to mention that was quite a while back now, but the plan mode is completely changed. If you haven't tried to use it yet, Use the new plan mode. It's extremely, extremely effective. All you do is you just shift tab, shift tab, put it on plan mode, tell it to make you an entire plan, and then sit back and watch it implement that plan without worrying about slash compacts because it, the way it works basically is you don't actually have to worry about compacts anymore because the plan is transferred between conversations. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.